All right, in example two, we're going to shorten this process a little bit. I'm not going to go through each of the four steps necessarily individually, like we did in the last example. We're asked here to find, to use the definition of derivative to find the slope of the tangent line at any point along this function. So our given function is f of x equals x squared. So first of all, I'm going to write out the definition of derivative. f prime of x is equal to, and really important, I just forgot it, the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So change in y over change in x. We want to find the limit as that horizontal distance goes to 0. And that's going to give us what we call our derivative. All right, so let's do this with f of x equals x squared. So the derivative would be equal to the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h. So that means that I'm going to take my original function and in place of x, okay, so that's parentheses squared, and in place of x, I'm going to put x plus h. Okay, then I'm going to subtract off the original function, which is just x squared then we're going to divide that by h. All right, so let's go through this process. The first thing I want to do is figure out what is this value turn out to be here. So x plus h squared. Um, I'm going to come to the side. I'm going to write something here. x plus h squared is x plus h times x plus h. All right, so we're going to write it out twice. We want to be careful there. If I square binomial, that means to write it out twice and FOIL. So we get x squared plus xh plus xh, last times the last plus h squared. When we add the two middle terms, we get 2xh. So we're going to be um, basically squaring this binomial a lot. So if you want to jump straight from x plus h squared to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, that is fine. So when we find f of x plus h, then we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So just be careful uh, about squaring binomials. We're asked to then subtract off the original function, so we're going to minus x squared and then we're going to divide by h. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this subtraction. x squared and x squared, so x squared minus x squared cancels, we're left with 2xh plus h squared divided by h. We're going to evaluate the limit. Now, before we do that, I want to remind you of something. If I plug a 0 into the function now, I get 0 plus 0 divided by 0. And that's that indeterminate form. Remember that if we get the indeterminate form, we said we want to factor and cancel or reduce our function um, before we actually evaluate the limit. So let's factor and cancel. I can factor out an h from the top. And when I factor out an h from the top, the h in the top and the bottom cancel. Now I'm going to reevaluate the limit as h approaches 0 of the reduced form, 2x plus h. So as h goes to 0, notice that I'm plugging in place of h now. I end up with 2x plus 0, which is just 2x. So the derivative of our function, I'm going to put it right, put it right here. The derivative of our function is f prime of x equals 2x. Now notice this time we don't just get a number. We actually have a variable in our derivative. And that's really important. So what that tells us is that our slope of the tangent lines are going to be changing based upon whatever the x value is that we choose. So remember um, that this is the formula that tells me the slope of the tangent line at any x value that I might choose along the curve. So the slope of the tangent line is going to change. So this is really important. Here it says, what is the slope of the tangent line at the following points? So at x equals 0, what is the slope of the tangent line? So here's my curve. Okay, the original function here, f of x equals x squared. And I want to look at this particular point, x equals 0. If I draw the tangent line, 
through this point, I get a flat line that looks like this. What is the slope of a horizontal line? Well, we know that the slope of a horizontal line would be zero. Let's look and see what our derivative gives us. So what the derivative does, it's a formula that says if you plug in the x value of the point into the derivative in place of x, then on the other side will pop out your slope. So this is the slope of the tangent line at x equals zero. So really important here, in order to find the slope of a tangent line using the derivative, you plug in the x value of the point, and then on the other side, out the output here for our derivative is the slope of the tangent line at that particular point. So we get that slope of zero just like we anticipated. What about at x equals one? So what about right here? The slope of that tangent line obviously is not going to be zero because that tangent line is not horizontal. It's going to be something like this. So we want to know what is the slope of that tangent line. So I'm going to take the derivative and in place of x, I'm going to put one. So I'm going to put one inside the derivative as my input. So we get two times one, so that tells me that the slope of the tangent line at that particular point would be two. So if I go through this point right here, that's a rise of two and a run of one. A rise of two and a run of one. And I can go down this direction as well. So that would be somewhere down here. Okay, it looks like it would cross through the y-axis there at negative one. So this is my tangent line and the slope of the tangent line is two. Okay, so notice that it's a positive slope. So the, the tangent line there we know slants up and to the right. Okay, well what about negative one? What about the slope of that tangent line? So here's negative one on our curve. What is the slope of that one? Well, we can tell that the tangent line is gonna slope in a downward motion there. All right, so let's figure out what it is. So we're gonna take our derivative, so f prime of negative one, and we're gonna put that in place of x, so that's two times negative one. That tells me that the slope of the tangent line at that particular point would be negative two. So I can go, um, let's see, up two to the left one. Okay, up two to the left one, and I have my slope. And it makes a lot of sense that that slope would be negative because our line is slanting downhill from left to right. So here we get that the slope of the tangent line is negative two. And we, we can do this for any point that we choose. Any x value we choose, we can plug that in. So if I want to figure out at x equals two, what is the slope of the tangent line there? That would be two times two. So the slope of the tangent line at x equals two would be four. So let's look at that one here. So here's, oops. Here's where x equals two, right here. Okay, what is the slope of that tangent line? Well, it says it's four. So in this case, I can kind of back up a little bit and go down four to the left one, and I could find out what my tangent line looks like. So it looks like something just like this and has a rise of four and a run of one. All right, so the slope of that tangent line would be a slope of four. All right, and I can calculate this for any point along the curve that I wish.